App video. Video has been a prominent format in the advertising world as you can see in Facebook and YouTube because it simply gets the best results. A good video clip can impress people more and encourage them to convert more, whether it is a click on an ad or an app download. That's why I highly recommend producing over time a high quality video which combines in-app actions and demonstrates the app's key functionality to make sure your users understand what makes it exciting and worth the download. Many apps use extensive graphics and extravagant animations which don't exist in the app, especially in games. Don't hesitate to do it yourself. If you're not good in video editing, please make sure you invest some time and money in the video. Today you can get a decent quality video for a few hundred dollars via Fiverr and if you have the budget, go for better quality even if it's pricier. The App Store versus Google Play In the App Store you can upload up to 30 seconds of video footage. You will also have to produce videos in different proportions by the different iPhones and iPad models which will take you extra work and money. With iOS, you can easily capture video footage from your app by connecting it to your Mac and using QuickTime to record your device. What's pretty cool and effective about the App Store is that as the user scrolls through the search results, your app's clip is going to be automatically played and as a result might increase the chance significantly that your user will click on your app. That's why it's also important to aim for large-scale text in the video if you do display text or even a logo. In Google Play you don't really have limitations, you just need to simply upload the clip to YouTube and supply the link in a store listing. Make sure you produce an appealing thumbnail image for the video as well and apply it to the feature graphic in your store listing as Google Play uses it as the video's thumbnail. As the video thumbnail takes a prominent place on the screen, make sure to properly A-B test it as well with different variations. It is essentially a horizontal image with a play button on top of it. This is how it looks like. To record footage in Android, you can simply use the Android emulator combined with a desktop screen recorder, like the one Windows natively offers. Simply click on the Windows key combined with the letter G and you have a desktop recorder. As you apply the video clip, don't forget to A-B test it with the current situation. Who knows, you might find out it does more damage than good. Maybe the screenshots that the video thumbnail is pushing aside will get more conversions than the video in its thumbnail. Who knows? It is also advised to embed the video in your app's website and social media. In YouTube, you can also add tags to the video and properly title it with your app's name and features. And as I said, don't forget to make sure the video thumbnail is attractive as well. Good luck screen capturing!